South Korean researchers have developed an algorithm that can predict the risk of sleep disorders with 90% accuracy through a simple survey. Cho eun with the details. A polysomnography test is a sleep study where dozens of sensors are attached from the head to the arms, legs and fingertips, and the patient must spend a night at the hospital. Although it is an essential test for diagnosing sleep disorders such as sleep apnea, people often avoid seeking medical attention until symptoms become severe due to the cumbersome testing method. While around 60 percent of adults suffer from sleep disorders, only about one in ten of them seek medical help. Nine out of ten people with sleep apnea are unaware of their symptoms. So even if someone tells them they snore or stop breathing, many individuals don't feel discomfort and the need to come to the hospital. By answering five questions related to sleep along with providing age, gender, height and weight, a website developed by South Korean researchers predicts three levels of sleep disorder risk in just 10 seconds. An artificial intelligence system trained with the results of 5,000 sleep polysomnography tests adjusts the importance of each question's answer based on individual differences to find the optimal answer among over 300 million cases. The site's prediction matches precisely with the results of actual polysomnography tests. The sleep site, which allows anyone to check the risk of sleep disorders for free, also informs about changes in risk due to weight fluctuations or aging based on current data. We started with about 100 unbiased questions. After analyzing the data, we found that there were nine most important questions and were able to get accurate results. The researchers expect that sleeps will enable individuals to assess their sleep health with a simple survey, promoting early screening of health problems. They also revealed that a follow-up version of the algorithm is under development, which additionally includes questions about alcohol and coffee consumption. Jong Eun-ju, Arirang News.